Hey, what do you figure, guys? So, let's go about building ourselves a new blast furnace from a paint can. Some uh, high heat concrete, some perlite, and a little bit of water. All right, all right, let's get to it. I'll show you what you're gonna need. Alrighty, guys, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need yourselves a paint can. Now, I've already pre-cut and wired mine, but I can give you the gist of it. Alrighty, this is the top of the paint can. With the lid still on it. I punched in four holes, making it into quarters, so I could run wires, or coat hangers, just to help hold the solution and everything intact once I got it all in there. All right, Just to support. Leave the handle on, it makes it easier to lift it on and off. All right, Cut just below the ears. I did the same for the bottom of the paint can. Put in four wires, pre-cut a hole about a half an inch above the bottom to an inch, so that I lay in my base first, then I just got to put in my piece of copper pipe, which I'm not showing a piece of copper pipe, and a glass vase, which will go down in the center. Once I have my bottom already poured, I'll put that glass vase in the center, dead center, covered in Vaseline, so I can pack the rest of my stuff around it. Because I have it covered in Vaseline, which you see in the center there, it'll just slide right out after about 15-20 minutes of curing. Okay? Do the same with the top. Just pack it full of stuff, flip it upside down, and let it cure. Like this. Once it's done curing, you'll have to bake it. Heat it up. So, ingredients. I grabbed two tubs, which is probably overkill, but I grabbed two tubs. There's the French side. That's good for you. Parlez-vous de français, ouais, un peu? High temp stove and furnace cement. Gray. Two tubs of this stuff. Twelve fifty each, Canadian plus taxes. One bag of perlite. Perlite. I bought way too much, but it's really cheap. You're going to need yourself a set of rubber gloves. Mad scientist gloves. You're going to need yourself a mixing bucket to mix the perlite and the cement in. Now you can add water to your cement to help thin it out and make it easier to mix. You're going to need a mixing bucket and a respirator when, or just a, a, a dust mask for when you're working with that perlite. This stuff is extremely dusty and bad for your lungs. Make sure you protect yourself. All right, let's get this stuff mixing together. One second. Okay, so what I did was I took the perlite. I filled my lid with perlite to about maybe that much from the top. I poured that into my bucket. So now I know basically how much I need to fill my lid. Now I'm going to add my cement and a bit of water and I'm going to mix it to a slurry and I'll show you that when I got that finished. Okay guys, there's your consistency. About like you'd expect Rice Krispies to be before they're ready to set, you know what I mean? Okay, let's pack the lid. We'll just bring it over. Start packing it. I gotta admit, this stuff is hard. That that uh, cement is really, really hard to break up. It comes out of there like a like a really solid clay. Very solid clay. Ooh, it's a little stinky this stuff, eh? I'm sure it's just delf clay. But the same stuff they make kitty litter out of. Just with a bit of a binder added to it. This one's not going to be enough. I'm going to need more. Didn't get enough in there. Need a bigger batch. Okay. Well, I'm going to mix up a little more. And I'll get back to you. Okay, so there it is. I lambasted it with Vaseline. I rammed it down in the middle. I put a little copper pipe in through that hole right there so that when I I can put my uh, you can't even see down in there. Woo! I need some light. One second. Okay, so as you can see it's about an inch and a half thick around the center or around the side walls. I used my little glass vase, lamb basted in Vaseline. I took a little wee chunk of copper, that one right there, 
lambasted it in Vaseline, and I shoved it in the hole there. Where's the hole? There it is. I shoved it in the hole so that I'll be able to get my uh, propane tank or my map gas tank in there. But I put it in on an angle. As you can see, it went in on an angle. So that it'll circulate when it goes around. Now I know it looks pretty rough in there, but I got a little bit of the uh, cement left. And I'll put a nice skim coat on top to make everything nice and smooth at the end, and it'll be perfect. There you go. Let it cure. Let it cure like this for about uh, 48 hours. There's the top. I just poked two holes in the top. I just took a, that same copper pipe, just wiggled it down in, took it out, blew out the concrete, wiggled it down to the bottom, blew out the concrete, so that when that cures, I can pop the lid off the other side, and there'll be two uh, uh, heat escape holes at the top coming out. Exhaust port. So, once it's all done curing in about two days, I'll put the flame to it and then bake it to really cure it out. And uh, we'll be able to put the lid back on it, put a flame to her and melt some, uh, we'll be able to melt everything from brass, copper, aluminum, probably even steel in here. Very cool. So, I'll show it to you at the end when I'm done skim coating and making it perfect. I'll add some pictures and we'll talk to you again soon. Best wishes now, everybody. Bye-bye. All right, you guys. So, this video is for Michael Swan 66. You can see him here on YouTube. He's a killer metal detectorist. And I gotta say, sorry, Mike. Took so long to get her done, buddy. But, I got her completed. Uh, all I got left to do is blast it and cure it. And then we can make some gold, silver, and copper ingots. And aluminum and brass and... I can pour the brass rods to make my hammered uh, dies for my hammered points. Thanks for going by, garbage truck, you bastard. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.